Orleans style is wrapping up this week. Do not before we check out one of the dishes from the delicious Revion dinner at the grill room in the Windsor Court. Chef Daniel Cosgrove is in the kitchen with us this morning. And thanks for being here. What you got cooking up? Thank you. Uh, we are going to make what I call a torchier creole, which is a pork and oyster pie. Um, it's something that you could make you know, an, in a large pan or in a casserole. Um, it could be a side dish. It could be a main dish as well. Um, and it's just something that's, you know, full of flavor um, and really great, nice, warm holiday dish. It sounds delicious. Is it difficult to make? Um, I wouldn't say it's difficult at you all. You wouldn't um, say would it would be difficult for me to make? <laughs> I don't know. You'll, you'll have to be the judge All right, of that, well, let's do it because you've we'll got see, we'll so much stuff here, skills. so let's just dive right in. Yeah, um, so basically, we're going to start with some great um, local pork, some okay. ground pork, um, and I have some here in this pan that I've been browning, and you kind of really want to brown it so it's nice and crispy, um, get plenty of flavor in there. And it smells great. Thank you. Um, and that way, you kind of get that nice roasted flavor. Right. And as you're, as you're browning it, you always want to scrape up as many of the brown bits as you can, because oh. that's where the really great flavor All is right, at. All right, we want the brown bits. Yep. And so once we have our, our pork in a nice, deep kind of chestnut mm -hmm. uh, color, we're going to add in our trinity. And one thing I like to do, I think this is, don't tell um, any of my chef mentors that Your I do this. Your secret is safe with me and all of our viewers. To, <laughs> to have diced this. Okay. But this is just, um, what I've done is taken my Trinity and I just buzzed it in the food processor. Okay. Um, and one thing I also, it's a tip for cooking at home. If you're making multiple dishes where you want to have Trinity and you want that nice roasted Trinity flavor, sometimes I'll just roast the vegetables by themselves and make kind of this paste that's just full of flavor. Interesting. And you can add it like if you were going to make you know, this torchier creole, mm -hmm. and then you were going to make an oyster dressing or something like that, too. You already kind of have that ready. Exactly. Really nice. I like that cuts down on the yeah. holiday cooking time as well. Yep. So um, we'll you just add some, some of this in now, there. Now, does it taste different once it's already cooked going in or as opposed to... Uh, no, I mean, I, it's pretty much the same. Okay. I mean, I, you could, you know, it's, it, uh, I think it just cuts out some of the time. And, you know, we'll just stir that in. All right. Um, and you'll kind of just smell all the garlic and... I do uh, smell. You're making me hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then what we do to just now, we'll just take some stock and add it to the pot. And that's just going to have to simmer for a while. Okay. You know, you want to give yourself plenty of time. Um, it's something that, you know, you can put this on and then go have some cocktails with Lovely. your uh, guests and company. All right. Um, and so it'll cook for, you know, probably... You know, two, three hours. Oh, and wow. then we're going to end up with something like this, which is more of a, uh, you know, cooked down. All and you, right. want, you want your pork to be nice and tender and smelling great. Oh, well, I know you and put your finesse in there. We have like 30 seconds, though, so you're going to have to okay. speed up uh, telling us what the rest of the so recipe we'll is. Just, we'll just finish it really quickly with some herbs. Okay. Um, and then we'll put it in this beautiful uh, cast iron that skillet, which I nice. think is very fun. Um, and you always want to do something special for the holidays, yeah. so that adds a nice little touch there. Yeah. And then we'll top it with a couple of oysters uh -huh. here, some Gulf oysters, just for some extra flavor. All right. Um, and we'll throw this piece of puff pastry right on top. Is this my job? You told me yep. this was going to be my duty. Yeah, you can just and brush just it with some, some egg that wash, there. and that's going to give us some nice color on top and a little extra flavor. Look at that. We'll give it a couple s scores uh -huh. for steam. And then this is going to go in the oven for about 15 minutes. All right. Uh, and after that time, what we'll end up with is this um, it beautiful It looks beautiful. Casserole. And you got me cooking this morning. So <laughs> success and success. Thank All you right. so much for being here, Chef Dan. Thank you. For more on Christmas New Orleans style and a look at the Grill Room Revion dinner menu, again, you can just visit our website and click on links on four. And how would you